Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel, hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading just to catch up to see what's going on here. Y'all already know the drill, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys are into other signs, then be sure to head on over to the link that will be provided in the description box below. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. So first and foremost, let's see what's in the energy, what's here, Virgo. Overall energy is the devil, okay? Someone is definitely in your energy field. I feel like someone is codependent or someone is angry that you aren't codependent on them. They see you walking away as a missed opportunity here or vice versa it's like i'm getting the energy of you saying in the background whether you're masculine and or feminine like i'm i'm good like if somebody were to ask this person like have you seen virgo and or vice versa have you seen such and such you'd be like nah it's like you have no emotion. You're just neutral. You're good. You're in a great place in your life right now. What's here? Virgo. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Okay, so like I said, you're in the best place in your life because you've moved on. You might have like gone through this energy of not feeling like you could have gotten through this situation where you had to move forward, but it's like you believed in your potential and you're unlocking them. You have unlimited potential here. And I see that things are changing where you're going to be able to earn a lot through some sort of knowledge or abundance that you've attained here. The numbers 31 and 13 could be significant. So it's like the possibilities are limitless. You are unlocking unlimited potential, okay? You are walking on unmarked territory. And this person seems like they're still in the same place that you left them at. They're still codependent on you. They still feel that tie, that soul tie that you might have had with this person. It could have been hard to let this person go. That's what a soul tie is. It's like you guys kind of find your way back to each other. Yeah. This person wants to create some new memories with you. They want to start all over. Tell me what else this person wants to tell you. For Virgo. So lots of messages here. So the first one is, I still care about you. Well, I seen that straight off the bat. You fill me up with happiness. Have I lost you? I'm done pretending. And I see you when I close my eyes. So that's a part of the codependency. They still think highly or a lot heavily of you here. Tell me more for Virgo. So there's some sort of change that's coming in and it has something to do with your solid foundation or success with effort. Even if that means it happens slowly, at least there's some movement here. Okay, so we do have time to go out and have fun. So I'm hearing that this summer, if you've been the type of person that never really went out as much or a lot, you're going to be doing that a lot more frequently. But I do see here that there are hidden secrets that can harm you. Okay, but you're protected from negative forces beyond your control. Just focus on this opportunity in a new job or career that's coming in for you here. I'm seeing also in the middle of the deck 
that you will either be giving or getting a gift. And it seems like it's, it's monetary. There's financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past here. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. This is like quick vibes. What's here for Virgo? Okay, so we have true love, Virgo. This is the romance of a lifetime. I'm not really sure if this is a current person, if it's not about your past person, but you recognize that there is true love between you and this person, or you will. You deserve love because you are lovable here. So it looks like you're going to be stumbling upon a suitor that could potentially be a true love. And this person could help you heal your heart. But now that I'm seeing healing, you are in this energy of moving on, moving forward. So I, I'm getting that you can now distract yourself from this past situation so that you won't have to remember what has happened here. You'll be able to move forward trying to get to know this other person, okay? I'm going to pull from my deck that I made just to see what's going on. What's the current energy? Quick Virgo vibes. Virgo vibes. What do we need to know here? So it looks like you may be dealing with a water sign or have water in your chart or they could have it in theirs. Someone here does not feel like they've ever given love a chance or you a chance. Okay. This person feels like you have every right to judge them. If that was something that you did Virgo or vice versa, because this person was a captain save a hoe or they were in this energy. Okay. They want to try to contaminate your energy or someone could be in this energy of, of low vibrations. Okay. This person is tired of people always having an opinion about y'all. I'm seeing expect the unexpected, stay ready so you don't have to get ready. I'm also seeing that uh, a child that they might have hid from you or vice versa did not turn out to be their child. This person is thinking about hitting you up and they want to tell you that they're sorry that they've been so distant. Okay. So there's some sort of revelation about a child that they might have told you about or that you might be finding out about that didn't turn out to be theirs. I did a reading yesterday about this here. So I'm getting that you are deciding that when and if you want to put up boundaries, when you feel it's needed, you will. I feel like there could have been a recent report that you needed to alert the authorities about, but you didn't because you knew it was the person that ghosted you or you ghosted them was behind something that, that took place recently, whatever that may mean to you, whoever this person is, they're sending you evil eye energy. So protect your energy here. Okay. Someone here might be trying to figure out who you live with or who you might be dating, what's going on in your dating life, how you're doing. Someone here is on the lease. Okay. You could have been living with this individual from your past or they could come from time to time, but this person is not over you here, okay? This person had a certain sex appeal to them, okay, that you really liked, or there was something that was different from other connections that you liked about this person. Someone's name, could be Samuel or Samia, Samaya. Someone's name starts with the letter S though. So we have hero or heroine. 
I'm getting the passion for a journal of personal empowerment could be important to you at this time. I'm also getting here the child divine card at the bottom of the deck. So someone has an innocence or purity to them that brings in this calm, lighthearted energy. We have servant in the middle of the deck. So there is a delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. Yeah. Someone's energy is very airy and that's what has this person addicted to you. Okay. So Virgo, if you were sick, you're getting over the sickness. Someone used your illness or sickness to control you to control you or you them. You could have had a controlling person that was in your friend group that you had to let go of because it's like they give you unneeded advice or try to get you to do certain things that you're not really up for. Okay. So you had to let someone go. You're letting anybody that is trying to block you from any sort of greatness that you deserve go. And you're in your right to do that. Okay. So we have sweet dreams. So I'm hearing that you guys are sleeping very well or you're finding time, like calm time for yourself. Okay. You could be comfortable at this point. I am seeing here that someone was, that was once your energy now wants to be on your team. Okay. I'm hearing this is justice for you. Somebody could want to propose, but they're not sure of how to execute this here. Someone here could be between the ages of 35 to 39, or there could be a four year difference between two individuals. Okay. So someone here is not learning their lesson through some sort of incident that might have taken place. I'm hearing there's going to be some sort of cause or natural disaster that happens to a person's child, okay? Because they tried to trap someone. So whatever happens to someone will happen to a child here. I did not pass the sentence. But I'm just reading the cards, okay? Or something might happen to the mother or father of a child because of a karmic cycle that they keep repeating. Someone, someone tried to put a curse on you or is putting curses on you because they felt like you left them alone and led them to further wearing this mask. It's like someone's blaming you for something that they started and your spirit guides just finished it. Okay. This person can no longer take from you anymore because now they're burdened with other things that they can't control. Okay. Just like they tried to control you. They won't be able to control the narrative of what spirit has for them. Okay. And that's just period. I don't know what it is about the afternoon, but baby, there's such a lighthearted energy about the afternoon. It's like I'm I'm in a great space right now. Maybe it's because of the weather, but I'm just in this calm energy. What's here? for Virgo. So something about a water sign feminine here or someone that has water in their chart. Someone here tried to energy swap with you so that you would be limited to what your divine purpose was on this earth, but you found out what they were doing. Okay. You found out what this person was doing here or the sort of manipulation that they wanted to cast upon you. Or it looks like this person knows what they want, but they're being limited to their purpose because they would rather do certain things that your spirit guides didn't approve of. 
okay so now someone here is trying to figure out how they can change the dynamic i'm hearing somebody might want to reach out to you in the spiritual or dream state i'm hearing something about being looked in the eye someone's name could be uh steven samir samira i've said that name twice now someone here is separating from a family group and they're going to come back in to apologize to you for not giving you everything that you deserve and more okay so there's something that's unfinished between you and this particular person for sure So someone here might need to dial back on what they're spending because there's a lot of money being spent than saved. Whoever this person is that you're connecting to, this person can't get over you no matter who they're with. And I think that they tried to prove a point to someone about how flashy or materialistic they can be or how much money they have but now they have nothing in the bank okay they lose control easily and they're not easily consolable because they've tried too hard and now people are talking a lot the, the streets are talking the streets are saying that this person is not the same this person might have gotten other people or might have themselves tried to ridicule you embarrass you on social media comment under your your posts or your videos and now look at them now look at them they have a lot of buried secrets a lot of buried secrets that they don't want anyone to dig up wasting their time with other people spreading misinformation talking about you and your faith and things of that nature here this is crazy what's here what's here for Virgo what do we need to know for Virgo at this time all right so I do see the community card showing up. So something's going to change in your community group. I see it being really beautiful. There's a, a lot of transformations or new things that are going to be happening around this time into the summer. Okay. I'm hearing spirits say, stay humble, be aware, and stay within your parameters. Okay. Stay within your parameters of your home. Yeah. I'm hearing that there's going to be some sort of travel and it's going to be a delightful travel. You're going to meet some really, really good people. Okay. But stay into your parameters until that time comes. Stay within your community group or circle or whatever it is that you do on a regular basis. Okay. Look, I'm hearing something about knowledge, esoteric knowledge or knowledge, downloads, spiritual downloads coming in. Someone here wants to take action towards you or you want to take action towards them, but they're afraid. They don't have the courage. Tell me more for Virgo. What do we need to know? Okay, so overall energy is family room. Someone's leaving a family dynamic. Or this person doesn't know that this, this individual is leaving. Okay. 
someone's being talked about or there's some sort of gossip about a younger male. 539 could be seen on the clock or this could be May 12th. Something that happened last month. I'm also hearing that a lot of people that sat down and talked about you and your financial situations, you going through certain things like people don't go through shit. They're the ones that are going to receive a lot and, and then some like you did. Whoever this was, it's a masculine. He's going to be losing his wealth here. Because he talked down to you. He made you feel like you were nothing. I'm, I swear this person that I'm talking about, it seems like they feed off of people that really don't have much going on. Or they take advantage of people that don't really have much to make themselves feel better. It's like an energetic power that they pull in. When they make someone feel bad, it makes them feel better. It makes them feel powerful. But when you take back your power of not giving into this individual or individuals and owning what you've gone through and overcoming it, they become powerless. Because now you won't need them. You'll be able to stand on your own two feet. You'll be able to be independent. Hmm. Quick messages for Virgo. Quick vibes. Look, look at you. Look at you manifesting. Look at you nurturing yourself. Look how beautiful you are. Or handsome you are. Whether you're masculine and or feminine. The number three could be significant. You're in forward movement. It's time for you to start nurturing the things that you want to bring into this life. Not only actual life or a child, but bringing the things that you can nurture into this life that will allow you to be successful here. Your hard work is about to pay off. You're such a great, diligent worker. You are very strong-minded or very opinionated. You don't allow people to steer you in whatever direction that they tell you to. And that's what makes you different from the rest because you're not a yes man. Okay. With the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Cups, it's kind of like something could have been hard for you to walk away from or you are not allowing yourself to feel someone could be emotionally numb here. But I'm hearing that you're getting over it. You're standing. You're standing tall. And focused on this wheel turning in your direction. I feel like you needed this staff to help you up. Because you might have felt like you didn't have the help that you needed. But the staff is like a crutch for you to move forward here. Okay? With the Ace of Cups, you had to disconnect from the things that were not for you. Okay? There's a tower moment. The number 16 could be significant. What's this tower? Someone could be born on the 16th here. Hmm. Someone is going through something. Someone's carrying a lot of baggage or weight here. Meanwhile, you're building yourself. You're making sure that you're stable. You're secure. You're moving on and not allowing anybody to take your energy again. Okay. And people are jealous of you in this time because now they get to see your true potential. All right. So Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading or you are interested in other signs, then be sure to check the description box for the links and other information. And as always, stay blessed and I will see you guys in the next one.